Hey friends, I just wanted to show you the next step to our batiking process. So this is what my batik looks like. My glue is dry. I can definitely tell because one, it's kind of stuck on the paper underneath, which that's okay, we'll get these off. But two, you can see that it's a little bit clearer than when we put the glue on yesterday. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your paint, find a piece of paper, something that you can pour out your paint on. It's just easier this way to pick it up with a brush. And then I always like to have water because this will help spread around the paint too. So I'm just mixing up a little bit of water and my paint and then I'm gonna bring it over and just paint right over top of everything. Make sure it goes on smoothly. It doesn't need to go on really thick. Nice and smooth. And remember the paint that I gave you is acrylic paint. So acrylic paint is more um, permanent paint. Um, I think we talked about using different types of dye or different types of paint. So if you wanna do this process with a different type of paint, how you get your glue off might just be a little bit different. And I'll send you a video of the glue part too. But basically you're going around I'll do half of mine orange, and then I'm gonna try to find another color and blend these two colors together. And you guys can do the same thing at home. We should have given you um, glue, or not just glue, should have given you paint from kits before, or if you have your own paint. Remember the paint that I'm using is acrylic paint, but if you would like to try it with tempera, you can, you're just not gonna, you're just not gonna wash it. a little bit on my hand. All right, I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in water too and just move that color around. So if you feel like you're running out of paint, use a little bit of water and you can move that around. Like I almost used all my paint on that paper. So obviously my full thing isn't painted yet. Like I said, I'm gonna switch up the color and blend it in a little bit. But the next step is going to be letting our paint dry. Once our paint is dry, at that point you can start to pick off the dried glue pieces. Now remember with the acrylic paint, that's the permanent paint, you can stick that right into warm water and the glue will kind of peel off. If you're using a paint that's going to get off with just water, then I would suggest taking some something like a pencil or something sharp and picking off the glue. When I say pick off the glue, I literally mean you're going to try to pick the glue blob off of your fabric piece. So you can kind of see in here. I'm starting to get it. I can see the edge. But once I put that paint over top, the glue can come off and just like we said yesterday, those will be the parts that we see. All right, friends, I'll send you another video whenever my paint is dry and I'm peeling the glue off. Thanks, bye.